Arbor Day is this Friday. So Allison's getting ready by planting a tree. Good morning, Allison. Hey, good morning. Why not plant a tree? We've been talking about it for Earth Week last week and Arbor Day coming up on Friday. Seems like a, a good idea and a good reason to figure out how to do it. <laughs> Since that seems like something that a lot of us might have questions about. This is Dan Tross from Ranger Services. Who You're a certified arborist, right? Yes, yes I am. So a tree expert. That's me. So we have this tree here. What do we need to think about if we want to plant it? Well, first rule of planting. You know what it is, Allison? Um, no. Green side goes up. All right. That makes sense. Remember that. Uh, the biggest and most important thing when you're planting a tree is the root system and what's going in the ground. And usually it's the part that people forget about the most. If you plant a tree correctly, your root system ends up growing out like this, which is like the spokes of a bicycle. Okay. If you plant it incorrectly, it can become something like this, girdled, growing in a circle, which is going to be actually preparing it to die early compared to live to be its full expectancy. A lot of trees, here's a tree, this was actually a tree that was over 20 years old, and mm. its own root system choked it off and killed it because it was planted too deep. Wow. So what we want to do, and we're going to show people a little bit here, is how to prepare the root system for the planting of this tree. Okay. Now this came out of one of those big plastic pots that the trees come in, and what we want to make sure, if you see how I got the roots roughed up here, mm -hmm. is that we rough the sides of the hole up a little bit so those roots aren't growing in a circle so they can actually grow outward. Okay. So I'm going to break this up a little bit right here and show, just taking a shovel and doing this, you're not hurting the tree at all, but you see how the roots now can spread out, mm -hmm. so when we place it in the hole, we're kind of inviting those roots to spread. Sometimes you see trees in, in containers that they say you can just plant right in the ground. Right? Yeah, um, those are peat containers. They're supposed mm -hmm. to decompose. One of the problems we have around this northeast Wisconsin is our soils are so heavy, a lot of clay in them. Mm -hmm. That decomposition can take a long time. So it is recommended that you pull that out of the container. Oh, okay. You just want to make it as easy as you can for the roots to spread out. Okay. And, and that's that's how the nature's designed the tree to grow. So we want to recreate the what nature has created in a sense. Okay. So I'm going to bust this up along here a little bit. Okay. The other thing to make sure is that we're planting right where the trunk gets bigger at the ground. They call it the trunk flare and where it starts to spread out. If the trunk looks like it goes in the ground straight, we have to kind of dig around to get down to the trunk flare. And if you take a look inside the spruce, it's starting to flare out right there. Right. So that's the right depth we want to plant the tree at. Okay, so you even took some material out of here. Yep. Okay. Yeah, and what happens when we, when we get trees ready for sale, we get them, we set them in the bottom of the pot so they stand up straight. Mm -hmm. So a lot of times that can be set in the, in the pot a little too deep. So we always want to knock off anything extra in the top to get down to where the trunk flares out. Okay. If we do that, we're going to set our trees up to thrive. Not just survive, but to thrive with many, go. many years of benefit. Okay, well, tell you what, guys, we haven't even put the tree in the hole yet, and we're out of time because there's so much to think about. <laughs> so we're going to continue uh, with our process and check in with you in a couple minutes. Yeah, right? I know. I don't think about that stuff, so that's good. Mm -hmm. Thanks, Allison. Good info.